this project I started with a 10 and a half by 12 and a half inch oval frame and believe it or not this was a brand new frame from the store I had bought it to make somebody something and I ended up not using this one and putting tape on the back and when I pulled tape off of it um, it took off all of the uh, ex, you know the perimeter black color and that's what I hate that's one of the things I hate about um, doing glass art probably the only thing I hate about doing glass art is how the back looks and trying to make it look better that's probably one of the reasons why I don't sell it either anyway so after I cleaned up the glass I put the glass back in and uh, like I've told you before I've been doing some experimenting and not gluing it in and just being extra cautious and uh, particular about how I put the tape down to make sure the tape um, is really secure and there won't be any resin leaks. So what this tape does is it holds the glass in place and it helps to prevent resin leaks. Now once you put resin on the other side, the resin once cured is what permanently adheres the glass to the frame. So I mixed up some art resin and I put eye candy snowflake in with some resin and uh, this is really pretty and I poured it into a cross mold that I had picked up on Amazon. Amazon. It filled it somewhere between an eighth and a quarter inch thick. This I let cure overnight and then I took some little tiny flowers, plastic flowers that I had actually picked up on Timu and I filled in the entire mold, the entire cross mold. And then I took, mixed up a little bit more resin, this is the next day, and I just poured it over the entire cross and I didn't totally flood the beads. Uh, the tops of the beads were all sticking out and then I let this sit again overnight. The next morning I took it out of the mold and it came out fairly easily. I didn't have any problems with it sticking and um, there was some little pieces of resin sticking up around the edges which happens all the time when you do molds and I was picking it off with my fingers a little but I just got this debar burring deburring tool on Amazon somebody on my um, YouTube channel had suggested I use it they saw me using a razor doing the same thing and the razor is a little bit dangerous I guess so um, this works really well the key to this is to do it right after you take it out of the mold um, the next day after you pour the resin because that's when those edges are softest and that's when they will come off the resin extra resin will come off the easiest after I was done with that I took out my gold oil-based marker and I went around the perimeter the uh, the whole perimeter of the cross and I think that looks so pretty and then up around the very edges you can see a little bit of gold too so next I printed up on my Cricut Easter blessings and if you'll notice I have the the frame up on four cups and the reason I'm doing that is while I press if I have this just sitting there is no um, support for that glass and if I press down on the Cricut design to put it onto the glass it might loosen the tape so it's your bet in your best interest while resining and while putting glass on top if you're not going to use glue probably even if you're going to use glue to um, have it up on the cups and if you press down you're pressing on the cups you're not pressing it out of the frame if that makes sense next it was ready for the resin the resin I'm using for this project is art resin it's a one-to-one -one ratio resin you mix slowly in a cup for three minutes um, scraping the sides scraping the bottom to ensure thorough mixing um, I took everything off of it and then just went ahead and poured the resin on because it's the easiest way to do it if you don't have any obstacles in the way I push it up all along the edges to make sure that it's covering that and then I spread it around the middle. 
Next, I use the kitchen torch to get rid of the bubbles. And Art Resin does it sometimes seem to have a lot of bubbles, but usually you can get rid of all of them with the torch. And the colder the resin is, I think the more bubbles it produces. So I put the cross on, and I'm not going to pour any resin off over the cross. It doesn't need it. And I did put some gold reflective glass on the the bottom this is from amazon it's real pretty glass uh, one side of it has the gold on it and i did drizzle just a tiny bit of resin over the top because most of it is sitting on the resin so it really doesn't need anything else to hold it and then i did add a little more and drizzle a little more resin on it now when i finish a project i come back every 15 minutes to check for glass placement to check for bubbles and retorch if needed, to look for sediment and get it out with a toothpick if needed. I reposition stuff. I usually use a toothpick to reposition everything. And here I'm using a baby wipe to get rid of the resin that I've drizzled onto the, the uh, frame. So this particular resin needs to cure at temperatures between 75 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. You can usually touch it the next day, but it takes a full 72 hours to cure. All resins are different. You need to read the directions for the resin that you are using. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the project. I think this turned out so pretty. I love the way the cross turned out with the gold around it the gold um, around the edges and on the sides like that. So this was actually a brand new frame. So I usually get my frames from garage sales or thrift stores, more from garage sales now as anything. But I happened to buy this for a certain project I was doing and I never ended up using it. And the thing that stinks is I had put tape on the back and look what happened when I took the tape off. It took all that coloring. So I guess if I just paint it, that's one of the problems with the glass art is you have to remove the backings and sometimes it damages it and it's a pain to, to um, try to restore it and make it look good, especially for those who are selling their art. That's another reason why I don't want to sell it because it would be so much work. To me, this part is fun and this part is a pain. But um, anyway, <laughs> so, um, so the problem, um, so I've been trying now just to put tape on the back instead of gluing it also. And um, most of them have worked. I've had a couple that have leaked. But I think what the problem is, is you tape it and then this sits and when it's sitting flat, it's actually sitting on the frame. So if you put any kind of pressure down on the glass by putting glass on it or the like the cricket wording, you're actually pushing down and it can break the seal on the tape and cause it to leak, which is what I thought think is happening. So I put, this time I put cups down under it. And so any pressure goes onto the cups and not onto the tape that's holding it to the frame. So, um, and, and, and I didn't have any leaks at all with this. So anyway, I thought this was really cool. I just love um, these beads or these little flowers on, on the top of it. I think it makes it look so pretty. I hope you guys enjoy it. So um, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up or a like. That really helps the channel. If you enjoy the channel, go ahead and subscribe. That really helps the channel. And um, the Facebook page, uh, an amazing group of people displaying their beautiful artwork, very helpful. Any questions you have, and they have all different, um, all different experience. So some people may have more experience with um, canvas art and others with glass art and others with uh, stained glass art, some with molds, um, you know, all different things. So um, come join us there. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks for watching.